Garden City is the home of two very special runners. Darby Reimer and Emily Watkins have a unique bond that started with an infectious smile and a good deed. Last summer, Darby Reimer sought out a new challenge. She wanted to be on the cross-country team at Kenneth Henderson Middle School. I was not at all sure what it was. I just thought it was all long distance. Reimer is fully blind, so her first obstacle was to find someone to run with in practices and meets. During the summer practice, there's like summer practices. They're like, you can't um, come yet because we haven't found a coach for you. Whenever they finally found a coach, I'm like, yay. Emily Watkins stepped up to help. She knew Reimer from her time as a special education teacher, and she's married to the head cross-country coach. When I found out she wanted to do it, I was like, oh, of course, I want all my students, all my kids. I mean, I'm a mom, too. I want them to be able to participate in anything that they want. Side by side, holding on to a looped rope, the two started training. They started doing really hard workouts. I'm like, I'm never doing this again. This was brand new to her. I mean, she took on something that she never had really tried. I told my grandma after the practice, I'm like, I thought I was going to die. There was an adjustment for Watkins as well. She not only has to be Reimer's eyes, but she also has to quickly communicate what she's seeing. We kind of have made our own language and things that I think I prompt her different ways than what they told us. Is that the camera Yeah. I think we've Gone, gone together a lot easier than I kind of thought it was going to be. She always, um, like, tells me, like, turn left, turn right, and she's really fun. Reimer isn't happy with just crossing the finish line. She wants to improve her time each week and catch other runners. I'm like, yay, I passed someone. Maybe I can make it um, and pass another person. I crossed the finish line in tears in our first meet. Um, the whole crowd was there. Um, cheering for her. I was not expecting that at all. Every time Reimer and Watkins grab that rope and go forward together, it's a touching reminder that you don't have to finish in first place to be an inspiration.